Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Saros Parajuli. In the last video, we talked about the composition and the structure of DNA. And if you want to watch that video, I will put the link in the description section and you can watch from the link. But today we are going to talk about the composition and the structure of RNA. The composition and the structure of RNA is pretty much similar to the composition and structure of DNA. However, there are some key differences and I'm going to focus on three key differences. The first one is the strand. So DNA is double stranded. However, RNA is a single stranded molecule. And the second difference is the sugar. DNA has deoxyribose sugar. However, RNA has ribose sugar. So the difference is the hydroxyl group at carbon number two. The ribose sugar has hydroxyl group. However, deoxyribose sugar has only one hydrogen group here. And the third key difference is in the base, in the pyrimidin base. So in RNA, the pyrimidin base is uracil. However, in DNA, uracil is being replaced by the thymine T. Next, we'll focus on compositions of RNA. RNA is composed of sugar, base, and phosphate. Sugar and phosphate forms the backbone. And sugar and base is called nucleoside. And if we add a phosphate group to the nucleoside, then it becomes nucleotide. Sugar, base, and phosphate bond. The first component of the composition of the RNA is sugar and it is made up of ribose sugar which, which is a pentose sugar and its chemical formula is C5H10O5. It forms the backbone of the RNA. And looking at the pentose sugar structure, as we saw earlier in the DNA structure, the sugar was deoxyribose sugar. However, at carbon number two, so this is carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon number four, and carbon number five. So it is called pentose sugar. It has five carbon. And at position two, there is a hydroxyl group. So this is the key difference between the sugar of the DNA and the RNA. The ribose sugar has a hydroxyl group at two carbon position. The second component of the RNA is base, and it is a nitrogenous base. There are two types of nitrogenous base. One is purine, and the other one is the pyrimidine. The purine is a nine-membered double ring structure. And if we see the structure of purine, and there are nine members, that is first member of the ring, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and nine so there are two different type of purine one is adenine and other one is guanine adenine has amine group at six carbon position however guanine has amine group at two carbon position coming to the pyrimidine base so pyrimidine is a single ring structure and it has six members one two three, four, five, and six. So cytosine base has amine group at fourth carbon position. However, in the uracil, there is no any group like methyl group or amine group. So if we see there are four bases in RNA, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil so one thing to remember is these are only the base but if we combine base with the sugar and the phosphate bond then the adenine becomes adenosine guanine becomes guanosine cytosine becomes cytidine and uracil becomes uridine so that is the combination of base plus sugar plus phosphate bond so that is called adenosine, guanosine, cytidine, and uridine. The third component of the RNA is phosphate group or phosphodiester bond. So it is P, 
O four and two negative charges. One one phosphorus atom is bonded with four different oxygen atom and two negative charges. So coming to the structure of RNA, so one one side of the phosphodiester bond is attached to the three carbon three prime carbon of the ribose sugar, whereas the other end of the phosphodiester bond it is attached to the five prime carbon of the ribose sugar. In the chemical structure of RNA, one ribose sugar, one phosphate bond, and one base forms one nucleotide. So here, this is one phosphate group, this is adenine base, and this is ribose sugar. These all three forms a adenosine nucleotide. Similarly, we can see this is one adenosine nucleotide and this is one guanosine nucleotide and two base are attached together by phosphodiester bone. Similarly, if we see the three nucleotide structure, adenosine guanosine and cytidine is are attached to each other by phosphodiester bone similarly if we add all four different nucleotides then it forms adenosine guanosine cytidine and uridine nucleotide these form these all four nucleotide forms the chemical structure of rna chain and it moves from this is 5 prime end which is a 5 prime carbon right here and this is 3 prime end because this carbon is a 3 prime carbon in the ribose sugar RNA is a single stranded molecule with four different type of nucleotide adenine guanine cytosine and thymine however like DNA sometimes it can form a double helical structure like DNA and it can form a hairpin loop. How it forms the hairpin loop? Like it can have different bases and they can hybridize to each other to form a double stranded RNA molecule. And RNA is one good example of double stranded RNA and also the tRNA. tRNA forms double stranded molecule. So this is a structure of tRNA. It forms a hairpin loop. Usually RNA is single stranded, but at some special condition, it can form a double stranded molecule. Today we talked about the composition and structure of RNA and compared it with the composition and structure of the DNA, how it differs from the composition and structure of DNA. So thank you so much for watching this video and if you like my content and want to learn more about molecular biology, genetics, genomics, biotechnology and genome engineering, please like and comment and also subscribe my channel and share in your community. Thank you so much for watching. See you in next video.